All right, it's 99% finished. I won't even bother with the last little details right away. She's in great shape. Plastics are all back together. That's what that looks like. Just had to cut a little tiny piece off this center console. I've got that there which fits nicely under the seat and we have to leave that there for the security system. I'll pop the hood. There's my little switch so I can shut off the electric power steering if I want. My cover's back on for the Volkswagen ignition which is mounted there. Oh, something I forgot to show was that I did have to add a little piece to the intercooler hoses. There's that little stainless steel piece. I put one in each thing. It's got a 30 degree angle on it. And what I used was a piece of two inch pool handle. One of those. Nice stainless steel, the right angle. Just cut a little piece out of there because I've got lots of these things. This is my scrap pile. Three or four, three or four stainless is worth quite a bit right now. Open the hood. And there we go. Looks and drives and feels like a factory TDI caravan. Yeah, the last one present is dealing with those wires. And finding a more correct looking bottle for the clutch. So one final drive and call it a wrap. Start it. First gear. Turn this on. Oh, better put my seat belt on. She's a beeping. Oh, it's hard with doing this with one hand. And we're off. Oh, there's that Volkswagen thing telling me something's not right, which is kind of true. Speedo's working great. Lots of power with a cold engine. Just waiting for that corn harvest. It'd be a bumper crop in southern Ontario this year. We got a lot of rain this summer. hundred percent success all my buddies have driven it now and they're very impressed too you just can't believe how much spunk it's got and how nicely it drives and how quiet it is for a diesel look at that tire spinning power I think I'm in second oh, oh yeah it's spinning the tires good well I kind of like that I don't have the engine hooked up to this ABS system for speed control, the, the original engine, because it had traction control. And I hate traction control because when you're going through deep snow, to get, especially to get in this huge driveway that I have, you need to floor it. And traction control won't let you. Whoa, that does a burnout so easy now. Actually, way easier than the original motor. All that diesel torque. Well, that's a wrap unless I change anything else. Interesting niche series for YouTube. World's most fuel efficient caravan. Sweet.